if my boyfriend asks me to marry him, I'm gonna say no. You don't find that suspicious? You don't find that suspicious? You don't find that suspicious? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Why am I gonna say no? Because we started dating five years ago, and then a month after we started dating, his friend started dating his girlfriend. Huh? And they had a kid after two years of being together. We had our daughter after four years of being together. His friend pays all the bills in their home. We pay 50-50. His friend bought a Mercedes. We're still driving a Honda. An old saying goes, comparison is the thief of joy. And it sounds to me that this woman picked the wrong friend. What's going on everybody and welcome back to another video. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, tickle that notification bell. That will let you know every time I upload content. You know what we're gonna do. Yep. Roll that clip. Um, his friend got engaged last year and um, we haven't gotten engaged. His friend got married this past weekend. And the crazy thing is that when we started talking, he said, if we last a year, I'd like to get married and try for a baby. Right. So a year came by, nothing. Then he said, well, maybe after three years, let's look at it like a lease payment. Yeah, yeah. You get three years. Three years came by, Damn. nothing. Damn. And then he said maybe five. Five is a big deal. You're a victim. Mm. There we go, CSI. It's like I said in the beginning of the video, comparison is the thief of joy. You have a man. You are in a relationship. It is not your job as a woman to worry about what his friend is doing. Your job as the woman is to worry about what your man is doing. Yep. See, I really believe that she's just mad that she chose the wrong friend. Got him. We fucking got him. <laughs> she could have chosen the man that she is basically basing her whole relationship on. Notice every complaint starts off with his friend. She is comparing her relationship to a relationship based on his friend. His friend does this, we got to do this. His friend, we got to do it. Comparison is the thief of joy. You're wasting your time. Either stop comparing your relationship to a relationship that you're not in, or find a new man. See, you're wasting your time and you're wasting his time. Both of you could either be on the road to success or dealing with different people. And it sounds like to me that you're just mad that you picked the wrong friend. You want the other friend. Yep. You aren't happy with your man. You aren't secure with your man. You don't want to be with your man. That's fine. Just admit that. Break up with him and move on and find somebody else. Don't drag the man along expecting him to figure it out. Just break up with the guy. You don't want to be with him. He's clearly not enough for you. You would rather go out with the friend that you keep talking about. You clearly don't want to marry him. You're not happy. Why prolong it? Why? 
You're wasting your time and you're wasting his time. Break up. Get away from this guy. Leave this guy alone. And this is the other part that I want to talk about. Women will get with a man, know this man is not right for them, or realize that the relationship is not going where they want it to go or they feel it should go, and then they want to leave. You feel that the grass is greener on the other side, but you don't understand that the grass is green wherever you water the grass. And see, you break up with this guy, then what? You're going to be saying the same thing about the next guy and the next guy and the next guy. You're not happy because you're comparing your life to somebody else's life. They go on a trip, you want to go on a trip. They buy Mercedes, you buy Mercedes. They buy big house, you buy big house. This is keeping up with the Joneses. That's why you're not happy. It's not that the man isn't meeting your needs. It's not that the man is a bad guy. It's not that the man can't be a man. You're just comparing your relationship to other people. And this is why women are single. This is yet another reason why women are single. You are single because of you. It's not because of a man. It's not because the man can't give you what you need. It's because of you. You have these high expectations that you claim are low expectations and you claim that they're the bare minimum. But if they're the bare minimum, why are you not happy? If you have low standards or you have average standards as a woman, why can no man meet your standards? Because they're too high. You have unrealistic expectations. You have high standards. And you don't know how to cultivate a healthy relationship. Go to therapy, get help, heal from all of that childhood trauma that you have. And maybe then you'll get a man. Anyway, y'all, that's been it for today's video. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, tickle that notification bell that will let you know every time I upload content. You're going to see me right after this at the end screen. Click on the next video. That's where you'll find me. And until the next video, peace.